so we are just walking through the city. Um, to update all of you, we did not find Steven's phone on the plane. We left without it. But um, yeah, so we got back to the hotel room, took a little bit of a nap, and now we're back out. Steven, where are we heading? Um, we're going to the flower market and then we're going to the Rex Museum. Sounds good. They take biking very seriously. And for all of those who warned me for the bicycles and not to get hit, you were not kidding. We are about to enter the flower market. So I'm excited to see what it's like. So we are just by the canal, one of the canals, many of them, and we are on our way to the Reich Museum. It is really beautiful here. The rain has stopped and is holding off, which is really wonderful. Steven and I are on a mission to find a cruise on the canal at night that is like a dinner cruise. So uh, when we get back to the hotel today, we have to talk to someone about finding one. I am pretty much obsessed with the whole houseboat idea. I think it seems like a wonderful way to live, but I want to figure out how it works. Like, do you buy like the spot on the canal where your house is? If any of you know how it works, let me know in the comments below because I'm really interested in it. These tulips make me want to tiptoe. It would not be a trip if I did not have a sock issue. Seriously. Seriously. If anyone has a recommendation for a very low cut sock. I tried naked socks, I tried a brand barely there, and today I'm trying the Nike no-shows, and none of them seem to work, so I'm beginning to think it's just my foot. We are at the Reich Museum. Um, my hair is very windblown and a mess, but we are really excited to dive in and look at some of the paintings and artwork. Sometimes this is what I look like in the morning. just walked through a couple of the galleries and what is just so striking is the level of detail each of these paintings holds from the fold in the fabric to like each individual hair on someone's head and it started to make me think about it's all in the details all those little small things are what equal this amazing masterpiece and then I started to think about life. I think we isolate big events as the culminating aspects of our life. Um, and the big events are what truly matters. But what I'm beginning to think is, it's actually every single small moment. The level of detail in which you pay attention to it. The level of celebration you bring to every small moment is actually what makes a masterpiece of your life at the end. Those big moments, yes, important, but it truly is what are you doing with the smallest moments of your day and the smallest moments of your life. That's my thoughts so far. If only I could have these for my kitchen. <laughs> Thank you. 
What started out as a rainy, dreary day has turned into a beautiful, sunny, gorgeous day. I mean, you couldn't ask for better weather because you don't want it too hot when you're doing a lot of walking. But uh, yeah, it's just beautiful out. Look what I found, gang. My favorite book, probably of all time, The Underground Railroad by Colson Whitehead. If you've not read it, it is truly one of the best books ever. And you all know from my Q&As that I love a bookstore, so you better believe we are heading in. I have actually heard about this book, and I think I might give it a try. Hi, kitty. Meow. I have died and gone to heaven. This is totally my stuff. I need all the things.